So it should be pretty interesting. They're all, they're both both teams are fairly even. We got here. You know, like both are set. Uh, Kyle and CJ are both sevens and eighty nine ball, and then Kevin and Brandon are both nines. Yeah, no, it should definitely be a match to watch. CJ and Brandon are trying to win Vegas and play total BC, so they want a little action. Kevin, try contacting Kevin's partner, Jason. So Kyle's going in for Jason. Good CJ coming up right now. He doesn't have a clear shot. It looks like he'll be kicking that. No. Thing to note. Do you know, does CJ have a jump here? Because that very well might come into play if he doesn't have a jump cue or if he, maybe he doesn't know how, you know? Yeah, I've seen him jump. He's on my PC team on Thursdays for 10 balls. I've seen him jump some shots. Okay. No, we're doing a little bit of a longer race right now. We're doing a race to nine, I believe, is what they decided on. Yes. So they're going to be in here for the long haul. Ooh, a little rattle from Kyle. One of those Kevin's probably. I was not okay with it, but he wouldn't have really liked the view that was left up with him. You know, I, when I played with Kevin, he just hit me the ball. That's it. This could be their defense. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Now, question, because I wasn't here when you guys were kind of deciding the rule set and all that kind of stuff. Not that we'll see it. I think come out right here, but are they playing full three foul and all that kind of stuff too, or no? Yes. Okay. Three foul, jump cues. All the good stuff. Right. I, I kind of figured as much, but I wasn't 100% for sure. I thought I'd ask. I know they're practicing three fouls during the warm ups. So. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. Be a fairly simple run out side pocket. If you can hold it up for the seven ball on the opposite side, if not, you can go into the corner. And he misses the side pocket jump. Um, aspect part of the high low mix scotch doubles. That thing bounces out, doesn't really matter. Who's on there anymore? The lowers kind of balance out the. That, that's fair. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's something though that I found I kind of tend to worry about more than anybody else. Is especially when it comes to like dump and stuff like that is positions of the ball is where it's go through. He's not as free flowing as some of the other guys playing. Yeah. No, I, no, I play with David. Two matches. That's one thing. Just make my ball. It's a benefit to play with David, but it's right. like, and make me shot on the table. Perfect. Right side. Yeah. Every time. Yeah. We know how I shoot. <laughs> we know very well how to shoot, Mike. So if you believe me that, oh, that's the shot, nothing I can do, I can change it. So that's where right. my attitude comes in, no, there's nothing you can do to change it. So and don't let that affect the shot you're going to take. That's very much the attitude you have to have, especially in like a doubles format, right? In singles, you can be like, oh, okay, 
you blame yourself for it, whatever, you know. But in doubles, if your if your partner leaves you somewhere, that's you can't like you can't get mad at it because that's just where they left it, you know. Very, very well. Looks like you might get that first rack to Kevin and Kyle. Kyle, can you? Did you tell me who you were taking again? Oh, Kevin and Kyle. Oh. Does my team only have to get to seven? No. Exactly. Yeah, they they've all played at least some somewhat on the field before. <laughs> now, just throwing it out there as a little stat piece. Out of the four people that are playing right now, Kyle has the highest win percentage on this table out of everybody. Kyle has won 56% of his racks that he has played that have been streamed in our arena. What are my stats compared to Kyle? You, you beat out of him by 0.02%. Take it. So I'm better than Kyle. That was a good try by Kyle. I didn't think he could see as much of it as he could. I thought he'd be clipping it a lot, a lot thinner. Talk to my com my fellow normal commentator about that. See if he's interested. I think. Me and Noah play doubles. And David hit me up. So I have a, we have a five Tuesday, so I know Noah doesn't have a match, but technically we've scheduled for four. Technically, so life should let him go. And we're not doing our Tuesday tournament that I normally run, so I, I may be interested. Let's start week. next week, right? Uh, yes, not this coming week, but. The following week, we'll be doing uh, trip tournaments Monday Monday night nine ball and Tuesday night ten ball, and we'll be running about ten weeks. And then after, at the end of those ten weeks, we'll it's all leading up to a final. You can try and qualify and get to the final tournament with both of those final tournaments being a guaranteed five hundred dollars one first place. So, and gonna be some interesting stuff going through. I think. See, yeah, he was asking something about Colin. I think he might have thought it would be early now. Ooh, good try. I like I like thought though. I very much like it. So you guys playing Colin? Colin. So they're playing Colin. So not playing by my list. Which I mean 50-50. It's one of those things that, like, I can see the thought process behind Call the Nine, right? Because make sure nothing weird happens. But also, you look at every pro nine ball match that's played, it's all slot nine. You know, it's, you don't have to call anything. So it's like, if our pros are making it at this level, why should we make it harder for us non pros, you know? That too, right? It's if we were running out tables left and right, you could see that yeah. being a difference, but we don't run out no. very often, especially at the mixed level. Oh yeah, Def definitely. Okay. I don't think I don't think there has been a single break and run in a, in a doubles format that we've streamed out on here. Definitely. 
I know there I know there's been at least one or two single break and runs, but I don't think that there's been one that double team has been able to stream and put together. Noah just said let's go. Let's put that one and let's go for the Tuesday doubles action. I said, like I said, I'm down. There might be a little bit of a spot or something negotiated with that. I don't think it's quite even me and Noah and you and Butler. That's pretty close. Uh, seven and a six and a nine and a six. No, it's seven. No, no. I'm barely a six. For, for your information, Noah is a six. He is on one of my teams. Say seven five versus the six nine. I'm sure we can negotiate something. Figure something out. I think I'm going to hit, try and get to the other side, um, and if you can, embrace the hitting the six ball, maybe, or the nine ball, maybe, don't be afraid of it, because if you hit it full, then you can shoot it up table, and if not, if you hit it like how Kyle just did, then you still have the six inside. Don't let, don't let the idea of hitting the nine ball worry you. Second monitor over here to get the live beat from top of the front while we're sitting at the table. Oh, barely falls in. Like, not even a quarter diamond, less than a quarter diamond. Just. Yeah. Right nice little just roll down. Try not to get too fancy on shape. on those pockets are huge too. If, if you barely even like get a point, they're rattling and they're not going down. Yeah, it's one of those, you make it, you really don't even have to worry about shape, right? As long as you're on his two thirds of the table, you know, don't, don't leave Kyle right up against the rail or anything, but shape's not hard. You know? Kyle has multiple pockets to shoot this. Left it a little bit longer than I think it would have wanted to, but still, like I said, makes it as, almost as easy for Kyle as it can be. Another one goes down. Makes it. Kyle and Kevin getting out to an early 2 0 lead. Okay, 
it, it, it is race tonight. It's an early to a lead. Well, yes, it's big and important. It's very early days. Oh yeah, I've se I've seen plenty of matches that start out one way and come back, and they're able to build a comeback. Especially with us doing winter break and not alternate break. If it's alternate break, these matches that are getting one off, off of them are a lot harder to come back on. Butler played you and Kyle race five four, and we're up 4-0 on you. You guys came back and beat us. We, we did. I think Butler missed one shot maybe that he was supposed to oh, yeah. the entire set until we got to those final four and we just could have put one or two together. Yeah, like like I said, you guys were going up it was either it was either four oh or four one. I don't quite remember. We might have had one at the start of that, but we definitely built a big comeback off of that. Last week when we got game six in the books and there's a shot. Like, don't worry Dave David, I'll get you on got him back line because he was like, I can tell you was upset. His shot, I was beating the line. Yeah. <laughs> but I have, and he made that shot. I made my shot and got upset. So I knew from that point we were not going to upset. Yeah. So well, that's what I think. So I wasn't able to watch it live, right? Because I, I was out of town. I was on a cruise. So I had no signal to be able to watch it live. But watching it when I got back, you guys definitely... You, you guys are even. It was what four, four, five, five, or something like that, and then you guys just went on a run for that, those last four or five. I think you paid for that Wi-Fi package so you could watch the match. I did not. Save money not buying the drink package. You could have got the Wi-Fi package. I mean that is true. Now, a good thing going through for this rack for whoever ends up getting on it. The three and the four are already down, so it makes it a lot easier to get into that five. That five is so limited in pockets that can go into. I, th I think it's a, a fairly simple just roll up and kind of make it. He made it. it not, nothing fancy. Give himself a little bit too much of an angle, I think. I think we might see Kyle try and stun or roll it down to this bottom rail and two rails it out. Two rails come in, maybe try and try and hit into the five and seven. Even so long as it doesn't peek out, he's looking pretty good. Nine ball is pretty big. I think I think he got it. Brandon might be able to just bear kind of like masse around it or something, but I think he got it pretty good. See, yeah, it's one of those things. He, if he jumps, he doesn't have to jump very high. I think he might two rail it. So go up to that uh, left side pocket, the left side rail, go one, hit the top rail, and come down on the opposite side of the four, or the five and the seven. He's grabbing all his toys. He does a pretty good job sometimes. Let's see if Brandon can get this up there. The first season of the day, and it's a make. It was a very pretty shot by Brandon. Let's see if CJ can respond. I think it's one of our top shots of the night already. Right. Very early on, you saw it here, rack three. Yeah. That's why I got it. We're no more statistic. 
Keeper. You got that? One of our statistic keepers. I'll, say, I'll, I'll be going back through after this and kind of try and keep a little bit of stats. Maybe I can jot down some stats and we can make a post or something about it in the next day or two and have everybody, player by player, how they did in this event. We might see and Kevin's maybe lined up in the bank right here. It's a little bit of it's a hard one. Maybe some bad defense. Come down and try and put the key ball behind seven to nine. Maybe a little bit of both if, if the five ball went into the side pocket. Cool, if not, then he ends up where he, where he left it because I you know, look at looking at that top view, the, he has no shot in the five right there. Yeah. Six ball is right in the way. Yeah, I think it might have been a little bit of a two-way going through. Um, five ball went close to the side pocket. I don't know if he was trying to make it. But one of those, if if he makes it awesome, he still has a shot. Kyle still has a shot on six. And if not, then he does what he got. So now I know if you were playing right now, you'd be eyeballing that 7-9. Uh, I mean, not in the second, but... It's coming around to it. It, it. it would be close to there. You'd be surprised. I played with David. Last I don't think I tried Rubini early nines. Yeah, I'm very proud of you. Uh, returning over a new leaf. But if it's there, I'm going to take it. Oh, 100%. 100%. If it's there, you have to. I mean, I didn't play with James either. Ten ball tournament the state, ten ball state. How did you do it in that? Uh, one one lost two. Out of uh, my thirteen racks, one seven of them were called early tens. <laughs> yeah, that's very fair. I, I saw today he just now announced his uh, fourth annual Bakersfield Open, and or not announced it, but opened up for sign ups and stuff like that. You think about going down and playing in that? Uh, definitely. So, side note, Breakers is uh, laying up $1,000 in the tournament, $500 to the highest finishing female, and $500 to the highest finishing under 500 Oh, okay, so, that, so that's where that one was coming. I saw that, but I didn't know, uh, didn't know who was printing that one up. He can kick. Just, I think just a little bit, yeah. Yeah, it's it's one of those you don't really see the three foul when there's four balls left on the table. Usually, I think probably ninety percent of the three fouls that I've seen, the first foul has been them just scratching on the break, and then their opponent being like, "Oh, okay, I have, I have one already. Might as well try and get the other two. Wasn't right. bad, Kyle. I, I see his thought process. I think I would have rather seen him go for the bank more than play what I think was some kind of like safety or defense is what he was going for. Oh yeah, hundred percent. He has he's played on this more than more than anybody. At the very least, he has the most practice time, right? 
other people might have played more, but it would be more competition play versus actual just like practice and drilling yourself and trying to get that kind of shots in. Are you, is your phone on Facebook or YouTube? Okay, I'll pull YouTube and sure. Chat purposes, I just want to check. Pretty good shot from Kevin. Left, left Kyle. Fair, fairly simple. Hey. To me, just kind of like DCA rule. Yeah. You're going to step off to the side and time. Okay. So I think he has enough. I think he has enough of an angle to go for it. So they're just talking about the rule of what decides, like how, where they can talk and stuff like that. We've we've had varying kind of rules on that. Yeah, well, I still just wait because you could talk to him, but you couldn't tell him where to hit or whatnot. I, I like both. We we've had that. We've had we have a little wall here in the arena. We've had it to where you can tell them all you want, but the other player has to stay behind the wall. We have their fairing rules, and all of them have their merits. Whatever teams agree to, I'm happy. It's very very beautiful shot. If you don't hit that, if you don't hit the pockets in there, it's you're risking it. Especially with the speed, I imagine it's probably short. Oh yeah. Just like that. Oh, did you lock it in? Not quite. When you, when you try and force it in. And we have very similar situations to last round, right? Except opposite team. I think it's senior up, I think. And yeah, it, a very similar shot to we're going through, because I think we might see CC do the ball a little more. I think you're going hidden rail first, going two to th two slash three rails around, just like that. Going through, your speed's got to be right, and his a little bit too hard. So you short. Yes. If you're going long, you want to go long, long, because you want to be able to shoot an uptake. You don't want to end up because he kind of ended up on like fifty yard line, right? It looks like Brandon's still going to tent the cut, which I would too. It's a fairly, without having to get shape on your neck shot, it's a fairly simple cut. Just don't scratch in the corner. And even then, I, I like to leave, leave the, I don't want to say the lower player, because Kyle's still a good player in his own right, but, the, but he is the lower player in this matchup. The longer, thinner cut. Ooh, and he goes behind it. Well, well, yeah, once again, didn't really leave a whole lot. I think that was intentional. Oh, no, I, I don't think so. I think Kyle was going for the shot. But then again, Kyle does play a little weird sometimes. They are down 10 3 right now. Which I know isn't a whole lot, but they're not winning. But yeah, like I said, I know Kyle plays. I don't say he plays weird. I know we've kind of had talked about 
styles of play and stuff like that before. That's one of those I think even you and Kyle especially play very differently. Whereas I know I'm kind of more in the middle of you two where I agree with some of the stuff that you of your ideas and stuff like that, and I agree with some of Kyle's ideas. A little defensive play going back and forth right now. Uh, it's one of those that it's where the ball's at. It's kind of a hard defense. I, I, I like going for it like how he did. And I'm just hoping that if you go through, so with that, I think he went for it, but tried to leave that cue ball up on that rail in case he missed it to where it left out. Maybe not necessarily long, but on the rail shot. That's a, that's a different corner for Kyle to go to, I think. Yeah, I don't know what new Kyle decided that corner, but ooh, 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 and he just barely holds up. Don't breathe, Kyle. Mine's a drop. This is the point. This is the point. Two, one. Or three, yeah. I said these little racks that you can you can steal not steal away but you can get and prevent the leak from growing because the more racks that Kyle and Kevin are able to get ahead of without them getting racked the more confidence they get. Right in front of the pocket. Just kind of leave that. Leave that easy shot open for it, which even if even if it would have went, it would have just been spotted because they're playing call maybe. Or is it just called early night? It was called early night. Okay. So. <laughs> well, that brings Kyle and Kevin up to an early 3 0 lead. So yeah, so we just got confirmation that they are playing call all nines, not just early nines. So if CJ would have made that, it would have just been spotted up. Which one well, of those deals that's like would I don't think would have made a difference, right? Just because where the cue ball was, all that kind of stuff, made it a little bit harder of a shot, but a spot shot from there is not too bad. Yeah. The bank on this, on this table is way different than the seven footers. So to me, it's oh, yeah. a different. Comes off a little different, and then also, depending on how you aim your bank, depends if, you, if you're going off the of diamonds, then that's one thing, but if you're just going off of like feel and instinct, then yeah, that, that distance makes a difference too. Shot yeah, as one of those, if he he hit it a little bit too hard, right? If he wouldn't have hit it as hard, then that ball would have been up the middle of the table, then it would have been back and forth a little bit more. Yeah, 
Kyle might be able to just barely clip the one ball. It'd be tight. If he can, though, get the key, barely clip the one ball, get the cue ball all the way back down, that could be a good defense. He's jacking up, so he might not be able to. Six ball might be in the way. Ooh. Good hit, kind of. Judd, one of the top fans, calling it a Judd versus Hill Evans match. Okay. No, he's an anniversary follower. I don't know if that is. Yeah, I'm not sure. In terms of Facebook, I'm not sure what they're different different things are. Barely, barely kept it open. I kept it up. So for me, playing, you know, I played the whole time quite a bit. And me and my buddy David, we went to Vegas for doubles and we toured Vegas for doubles. For me, on the key part of doubles is you have to start by just making your shots. Oh, yeah. And getting your rhythm for yourself, making your shots, and then tighten it up with the lead and what you can do for the next person. I mean, you don't want to get crazy on it, but for me, that was, and then that was the important part of our matches. It, it also helps a lot if you're comfortable with the person, the person's comfortable with, in terms of, like, positions-wise. Because you have, uh, me and Blake, for instance, right, we will play doubles together, and it's, we're not necessarily similar in terms of skill, but I trust him enough to make the balls when it comes to it, and he knows he can leave me, uh, he knows I don't care about position, right? And then we're able to just kind of go back and forth, and then we play similarly enough to where he knows that whatever his decision is, I'm okay with, because it, nine times out of ten, it's probably the decision I was gonna tell him to do anyways, right? Looking at it, I, I think it does. And go to that far <coughs> distance, far distance view, and it's close. It's definitely close. If not, very worst case scenario, he can roll up and maybe try and get the six into the side. And that's what he was trying to do. And I'll have to leave. Go through, miss it on. Go to try, not necessarily try and go overcut it, but if you're going to miss it, make sure it's an overcut instead of an undercut. Yeah. But again, are you trying to get too perfect for Kyle on that shot? Or I guess it's Maybe. It's one of those that's very potential, right? You, you never know. Oh, so Five. There's even defense there to go for the shot where I think it's been sitting. Yeah. Push it up on the eight. High. Combo the nine in the corner. Maybe. Went for it a little bit. Got it to the rail. So, with that thought, right, do you try to hold up the five, or do you try and embrace it and go up and down? Well, I know I can hold it up for the five, so I'm okay. going to okay. get some towels in here. Up, down, and five, and paint. Yeah, didn't didn't quite hit it hard enough to to make the five and to to slot the five in or to get his shape. I think he hit it hard enough. It's the fact that he hit it too fat that slowed the ball down. True, true. Alright. Oh. Yeah, a little too hard. He wanted to do that. He ball saved him a little bit. 
going through, I thought he was going to hit the eight ball a lot fuller than he did. You know, for Kyle, it's not that he's also in the pool as an option, maybe trying to make the six out from there. Do a little bit of like bo option. bottom right and try and go straight into the six and the eight. Now I kind of would like some cross pink. Let's give ourselves another ESPN shot. A top shot. <clears throat> Going through, like I said, go back into that play. Of, he hit the six ball out a little bit more, but it's still about that same spot that it looked. I think the six can go. When he decided to be the one to make it. So then left the six ball in a good spot. Yeah, it's gonna be tough with just the seven eight getting back and forth with both of them. It all comes down to what, what the angle is that they get onto the seven ball. That starter angle on the seven ball is huge, right? Yes, Robert, this is a nine foot header to apex table. Championships from Las Vegas. They got a little video on the Joe Rogan leaning on the table. <laughs> Joe's not leaning on the table. Even then, though, like I said, this is the angle he was wanting off of that initial seven, right? You want to get that start going, and this is the, this is the start that he wants. because then it's not on that rail it pops out a little bit and you can see Kyle can just make the eight ball cue ball comes out just a little bit nothing fancy and he can shoot the nine into the pocket that he's over right now just like that yeah that, that came out I think better better than they were thinking it would right Early 4-0 lead for Kyle and Kevin. Getting more, start getting more going. Oh, yeah. Maybe that's a stock car, black stock car, stock car racing fan, anyways. Which I think it looks cool. Kind of support all the groups around town. It's a company. I like it. It gives a little bit of extra flair, I guess you can say, in terms of just instead of it just being straight black that it might have been before. Not for note, we were talking about James, Har James Harris's Bakersfield Open going through. I just got my confirmed spot into it for. No, but your name wasn't first on the list. It, 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 it was not first on the list this year. I'll definitely see you down there. One night combo. Just get it. 
Ah, so they need to get something going. That, ooh, I'll scratch. Oh? It's one of those. Just because they were talking about the, the one nine, I think it's cool to skim the ones and the five into the nine. But I know that's a little bit of a ridiculous shot. That's not now. I think it was going to be free or anything. Oh, most definitely. They can get some kind of some kind of thing going with them. It's like we're gonna get some kind of defense probably. Going through get behind that seven ball. Ooh, that was very pretty. Skill level, he's not using the jump cube as well. Which oh, most definitely. Because I think you can't. I, I, I think. Jump. I think you can't say he. No, not even that. I don't think the seven ball's close enough in the way to worry about it. It's close, definitely, but I think it peaked out enough to where he can just have the clear jump of the six. I don't think he's got hooked behind the seven ball. So we can get some kind of two rail. See if we can go. If he can get past that seven ball, might might be looking for something good here. Oh oh oh! Very nice shot. Almost made it too. It's one of those. If he can get, who needs a jump cue? He 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 he's a very good shot. He doesn't have a jump cue, and I have a jump cue. Probably should have used it. <laughs> But it looks so good when you do it right. I'm just about that ESP on the top 10 moment. Just give me one good shot. I might be wrong. Let's see what I can do. Not nearly as good. As well as, I think the one, I think he can see the one. I think there's enough of a gap between the six and the four for Brandon not to have to do anything weird. That's the thing. It shows the difference between 150 points and Fargo. Right. So now for no talk about Fargo, 150 point difference between Kyle and Kyle and Kevin. Kevin was like a 630 Fargo. Yeah, so Kevin's 637 Fargo with Kyle being 487. And then Brandon is a 553 with CJ being a 493. Yeah. They're definitely giving up, so. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a little bit of a difference between that. Two or three rack spot, maybe two. Maybe I think two would be pushing it. It's d depends on if you're going off of Fargo spots or if you're just talking deciding what spot. Because if you're if you're talking and just kind of deciding what spot, probably just one rack. Okay, good to know. That way, I try and play you and Noah on Tuesday. We know how many rats you're getting. 
Well, it, like I said, if I'm going off of what we did with me, you, and Kyle, and Brent, and Butler, right? Yeah. Realistically, we probably should have gotten two racks. That's, that, that, prob that probably would have been the Fargo hot race, right? Yeah. But you wouldn't take two racks. When you have you and Noah even, and me and Butler have an 160 point difference, a miscue make. <laughs> yeah, not quite free. N none of us here are using the free chalk. Nice shot from Kevin. Right before we opened up, I think. Yeah, it would have been 2020, 2019, 2020. He came in and helped off the tables originally the very first time for us. How did he? Okay. He You gotta take it to the corner pocket and just kind of not stop it, but stun over and leave him for the, either the six seven or hit it harder and try and go for the six nine, but hit it a little bit too hard. It's one of those. Unfortunate. Yeah, you can come up behind it. I'm a fan of. I mean, granted, they're already up four zero, right? Try and hammer away that lead, right? Stun down, make the five, and leave the six nine. Instead of trying to get behind it and leave just a straight shot on the six. So just for a reference point, yours and Butler's Fargo's combined with mine and Noah's. Fargo hot race of nine says it should be a six race. Yeah. But I play with you and Noah and David and I know where that race should be. Oh yeah? Yeah. Now on the other note, the Fargo hot race for this match right now, and a hot race to nine, says that Kyle and Kevin should be going to eleven, whereas CJ and Brandon should be going to seven. Is what it's saying the hot races. It's like it doubles on there. Oh, I just add their Fargos together, and it may not be the most accurate, but going off of Fargo stuff, I think that's the the best way to do a doubles, unless there's a way to do doubles that I'm not aware of. That was kind of like Kyle and CJ are pretty equal, and then so what kind of spot would Kevin have to get Brandon to match? See, and, and, and that, that's a fair way. Brandon's never looking for a spot from anybody. But if you were to do, do, do a match, then I'd like, maybe two rounds, race the nine, if you count See, the doubles factor. That's a fair, fair point. So I think you and uh, David are pretty even. So. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know in what world you live in to where you think me. United States. Oh yeah. Shot. I'll be back. Go do some manager things. Going through Kavis, a fairly simple shot there. wasn't wasn't too bad, but left a weird shot. It's a weird shot to get onto the nine, I should say. Your CJ can come in, try and get on the board. Oh, barely missed it. Left well, not the easiest of shots. Something. With Kevin coming up, I think he can make it and go through that. The question is going to be where he ends up on nine. Once again, didn't really. They're getting lucky on the leaves. They didn't really leave a whole lot. I think it might come back here in a second. Get his thoughts of maybe. What What do you think you do here, Brett? Mike, Kevin, and Kyle got a couple lucky lucky rolls where they didn't really leave a whole lot. Question. What you did off of that shot with with the eight ball on the rail? I, I see where Brandon was going, but I don't, I don't know if I like the shot. That was a good shot by Kyle, but one of those leaves is where nine balls easy, but the two balls gonna be flying around too. Take the eight ball, you're sending it back to the other end, and the cue ball. That's true, bro. That's what I think too. But. Good shot by Kevin. Goes out to an early 5 0 lead. They are kind of running away with this right now. A little bit. I mean, it, it's one of those that. They've got a couple lucky rolls here and there, right? Like that last rap, their their misses didn't really leave Brandon and CJ a whole lot to work with, right? But it's also like they just kind of have have control for a good bit. So no one thinks you need two racks. David, you're watching now. What do you think? Two racks in race to nine. Me and you played up. Noah and Seth. Getting them up from behind the commentary booth on Tuesday night, out on the table. What kind of race would we do with that? I'd be able. I would be okay with two racks to race to nine. Let it go over to a 6 0 lead. Definitely feels like a step, 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 you know. Yeah. Like you're watching where you're walking instead of just walking. 
yeah, you, you have to get it going somewhere. And out of all, all of this, it's, it's in a race night at six of leads, <laughs> able to be brought back, you know, but it's not. <coughs> you definitely don't want to be under six of. But then again, going into like being behind and all that kind of stuff, right? If Kyle and Kevin get up to too much of a lead, at what point are they? What what point are they starting to relax? And then CJ and Brandon are able to kind of sneak up on them and just get going that way, right? Maybe not necessarily all luck or anything like that, but, That's the only way to but you, you get Kyle and Kevin kind of relax a little bit, and then Brandon and CJ turn it up. Nice shot there. Nice little pop out. Yeah. I always tell my teammates, especially, you know, like eight moments to race. It's like, it doesn't matter when you get your five racks, as long as you get your five racks. As long as you get them, that, that's. I, that goes with everything, right? Like, just as long as you get there at some point, that's all that matters. Yeah. For me, it takes me about three racks to get formed up, so. So good to know for Tuesday. So get the first three and then take them from there. Good thing is David doesn't need to warm up. <laughs> and it's one of those that I wouldn't be surprised if we see that 6 0 lead come through. Do you hold up and shoot that you fall into the corner that Kyle's up there right now, or do you go around? It looks like Kyle's trying to go around. Didn't leave the best of shots. Still a makeable shot, but the cue ball, if he's going into the side pocket, then the cue ball's going to be fine. I don't like it. This table doesn't mind this shot right here. The side pockets are definitely more forgiving than the corner pockets. Oh, most, most definitely. And it naturally kind of goes around. Three rail shot to go on the nine. But this is again the same shot. You don't want to go too far off. Yeah, you don't want to take it too far. If you go too far, make sure you do go too far. And so you can shoot through. You don't want to end up on where, like, even the nine ball or anything like that. You look at this overhead view, literally 50-50, right? Yeah. Just about lined up with it. No, knowing Kyle, I would assume as much. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's one of those, if you go for it, you kind of, kind of have to hit it a little harder. S similar with the combo, right? If you go for it, you have to go for it and make sure that comes out. That, they get their first rack. Right, two of five. They get to break and they get up to a, or kind of bring it back in from the five one. That's a little bit of changes right there. Like we said, it doesn't matter when you get your nine, while you get your nine. Yeah. And it broke the ice. Ho hopefully they can get something going, right? We're on a one streak. It's one of those, I, I don't know about you, Mike, but... In, I'd almost... They need to get one more, because I would almost rather 
if I'm gonna lose and get blown out, right? I'd almost rather lose 9 0 than lose 9 1. But they're gonna surpass four racks. They you, get to at least four racks. You, you think they'll get to at least four? Okay. See her first early nine here, Mike. Going through, look, looking at this rack. One ball on the side, two ball down in the corner, three ball in the corner. Come up, four ball in the same corner as the three, and then five nine. And it's kind of just connecting the dots. It's, it's laid up real pretty there. They just need to put it together. Kyle gave a good low angle on three ball for him to go through, and yeah, Devin's already moving that, moving that rack for that five nine. He's not, but I think he's comfortable enough for Kevin to go for it. If it was, if this was just cock shooting, I don't think he goes for it. Honestly, I think he'll just roll it up and either the side and six, seven. I'm, I'm going for the nine for sure. It, it depends on the confidence that Kyle has, right? If he, he doesn't mind up for that side, I think. I think Kevin left him a little bit more of an angle that he wanted to work with. And so Kyle doesn't want to try and draw it back. Yeah. It's one of the problems there. He was going to be like stretched out with thick stitch and trying to draw it back. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was going with. And he had a little bit of an angle working with, you know. Here watching with us with Nick Carwell. I mean, butcher some names. I'm sorry, I do. Going through right behind that five ball, and I uh, would be Kyle shooting if they get ball in hand. I was gonna say it's one of those that if they get ball in hand off of this, I almost like shooting the nine. <laughs> Just because, just not even necessarily go, because nine ball, but I mean, if you shoot for it, right? Five balls going up table, you leave in distance. Oh. Well, the five nine options. Who says that? You still go for the nine right here, right? <laughs> Butler would disown me if I went for the five nine right there. <laughs> no, that's fair. Even if I'm easy. See, I don't know if, if you would have made it, he might have been happy with it. No. There, as long as the seven ball does, but the eight ball doesn't block shots for the seven, and I don't think it did. I think he's fine. Went through, get that angle going, and yeah, he gets a clear shot at it. Just a little stop shot, maybe draw it back just a little bit. So, same function, same way to do it, just a little different idea.
not quite where you wanted to, but I still think it's enough to wear. Or Kyle's gonna make it, unless he's gonna donkey this right now. <laughs> no donkeys here. He might be asked. Kyle. Just the little breakers after cards are bad, but I play a lot of tools with Kyle, so he'd appreciate it. With a six one lead. That's pretty big. Yeah. Like I said, I still feel um, they're playing for right now CJ is a little just more choppy. I think he just honestly just start making balls and say we go from there. Not even they're not getting the bus leaves either. Well yeah, that's, that's what I was saying. It's it's not all just a skill base, right? There's been a couple like there was that one rack uh, where they went back and forth for a little bit and but just Kyle and Kevin just kept on missing but leaving them not shots at all. Not at all. Even the hard shot going across. <coughs> yeah. I said he can see it. If I had to guess, probably send the one ball down table and keep ball. Probably either just hide behind the seven ball or try and tuck up behind that two ball. Or the four ball, same same idea. You got it. So if you ever try to go behind that ball to keep the one ball and just leave the cue ball frozen on there, not enough angle. For where he was at, I don't think he had enough of an angle. If he has a little bit more, maybe. Um, but it's one of those, I think, the shot that he went for, whether he went for behind the four ball or behind the two ball, is just a little bit more controlled. Yeah, get a piece of it. Can you get behind the eight? Not quite. And it goes into the rolls, whereas the, those rolls that we've seen Kevin and Kyle, it's been getting behind the eight, right? Yeah. Yeah. Can't see if rolls on to watch her band play. He's doing all right right now. Yeah, Susan watching as well. Quite bad. Maybe the defense did work. Start getting a little bit more going. Got that rail though. Left an open shot, but at the very least he got that rail. That would have been one thing that would have been terrible is not to get that rail, get, not only miss the shot, but give ball in hand. Is Kyle going to end up behind that four ball? Uh, Short cues coming out. And viciously chuck in the tip of his stick. We'll see if not only if he can get up, but he can make it too. The nine not, not, might be for the okay. Now, 
in all lost. No, no joking right there. I might have called the nine right there. Just because of the fact that I know for me, my percentage on jumps and stuff like that, I know I hit it. But I'm, my chance of making the two is probably the same chance as me making the nine ball. <laughs> Very nice shot for Brandon. Get around that nine. Much a little bit steeper of an angle, but still not too bad. So he just needs to make this, and then the rest of the racks kind of connecting the dots after that. Very nice shot. If he can just get past that nine ball, and yeah, he'll he'll be good. Don't think kind of, like I said, just make the balls. Don't necessarily try and worry about some, anything too fancy. Make the balls and leave some kind of a shot, right? Yeah. Get through the track. Make it two six. Get the break. Three six, four six, five six. Control the mixture. That's what it's all about. It's just control. Knock down that long shot. Use enough room to squeeze it past the past the eight ball into that side pocket, and yeah. Ooh, Kyle misses it. I will say that was one I didn't. Did not expect Cloud to be missing. Please, Brandon, a good shot. That was a very nice shot by CJ. Go through nice control, good thieve. Oh, it's very interesting to kind of follow it forward. Give CJ the option if he wants to either shoot in the side pocket or go all the way back down. And then he has the nine ball. Make the eight ball down to that corner and then just kind of stun across it. Go straight down, hit the left side of that side center pocket. Just like that. No, nothing at all. They get come crawling back to six two. See that a little more fluid it wasn't as very choppy. Yes, they they were playing together much better in that one, it looked like. I haven't seen a lot of talking between the teams while they're up to shoot, but for sure. No, it was just kind of that one shot the one shot between Kyle and Kevin that we really saw that let them get something going. When we played the Jameses the other night, it was definitely a lot more talking free flow. Now, do you think that might have been because it was just the dynamic between the, both two partners were a little bit different, or is it just because that match was a little bit more built up to two than this one? Built up, it's just fun. We don't care. You know, That's it's like friends playing pool on a Saturday night. Yeah, there was some money on it. Yeah. That's fair. We won, so that's all that matters. <laughs> that was definitely entertaining. Just, you know, when you're playing with a lower player. It's going to be a lot, lot more time. I think it makes the game a little better because maybe I'm not down on the table thinking, okay, what does David want me to do right now? Do I do this, this, or this? I just mess up or miss the shot completely. Or where I 
he's like, yeah, do this. And I'm not afraid to tell David, no. <laughs> I, I can't this. do that one. <laughs> yeah. Like one time I was just like, the previous match we played, I'm like, you can't tell me this. I'm like, no, I'm going for the three, but I just didn't know am I going to clear the six. Yeah. He's all, what if you do this? I'm like, no. I just didn't know am going to clear the six when I go around. He's like, well, yeah. I was like, all right, thank you.
really stayed on the track as long as it takes just the nine balls. So, I think that will help my game. Yeah, you get around with the four and the nine. Yeah, you missed the last round. I think a seven, eight, ten, seven, eight, nine. CJ had a little bit of a cut to it. Just rattled it out of the jaw. Kevin was able to come. Get it a little bit six, three. Yeah, hang on to it. Let me put a little bit of a in there. And then the... I don't want to say commanding, but commanding lead up, they kind of, kind of pulled up. Being down five, being down three is definitely different. Oh, 100%. I'm just barely messing up. Yeah, the three goes into either pocket, either of those down corner pockets, you know. We get kind of a holster. Just Kirk the whole is the whole is extension. Become even more but of an old man. Nothing needs nothing ever needs to be holstered <laughs> in terms of anything that's not shouldn't be in a holster. No phones in a holster, no keys in a holster. Kyle definitely has a phone in a holster. I know he does. Even like the, the magnetic chocks I consider similar to holsters. As a chalk holster, nah. I, I may have stepped away from having the magnetic <laughs> holster. <laughs> so I just put it in my pocket now. I mean, I uh, guess. It's kind of hard. Pre shot routine, I have to have the chalk with me. And I don't like the chalk on the table. Everything that's on the table is a distraction. So that's, I guess, I can see that. Some might even say I'm a messy ADHD kind of person. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not quite. Kevin was looking. It's one of those. Standard Maybe he just wants to jump it. Maybe he tries to jump it. Maybe he just tries to hit the nine just to get that out of the way, you know? There, there was a video with the last 4,000 views on YouTube of Kyle trying to jump a shot. He makes it. The cue ball comes off the table. I have seen that shot. Very dangerous. No, and 
Kyle was one when we did our ring game event to he I think he jumped off the table more than anybody else. Definitely. That's calm. That's okay. Oh, and Charles, if you miss it, you want to make sure you hit that nine ball. Okay. I think in this position, say the shot for the try and kick at it. Kick at it. They have a lead. Yeah. With, with the lead, more willing to risk it, but then again, do you... This, this could be the start of something, right? Like, do you risk it and let them get to the table and start building that confidence up? That's fair. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, Did, no, you don't want that rattle and then leave that easy nine ball for the other team. Can you get behind that eight ball? Beautiful shot. Might just be looking at it first. See you another little jump ski. Through back behind the eight and six. Might see a little, little bit of either a kick or maybe a mess day or something from Kyle. Behind the five and the eight. Jump shot to jump shot to jump shot. Except as we talked about, oh, CJ has CJ doesn't jump. Right. He, he has seven. He, he would have had, I don't think, enough speed. He had enough juice to get around. That's where the difference would be able to jump and not come to the boys. Yeah. I'd say it's one of those, it's, it can make a big difference. And it's just kind of been how the rolls have been going. You know, Kyle was just trying to hit the ball and maybe make it. And he came back around and ended up believing that cut, you know. hit that eight ball, leave that shot on the sixth ball, and then Kevin can choose to either follow forward or drop back a little bit. Yeah, it's funny because Kyle's not someone who likes to the cue ball to hit any other balls when no, he's supposed to. He, he likes Let's everything for a breakout. He likes everything to be a clean clean cue ball movement. Nothing to be wonky or anything like that. A stun across for the seven ball. Pretty good treat. Kyle uh, can kind of roll it forward, and then depending on how hard he hits it, then Kevin can either shoot it either into the side or into that opposite corner. Let's 
to go a little harder than you wanted to, but I think it will work out. Some bottom right. Back up to the other side of the mountain. I think so, yeah. It's much more entertaining over here, anyways. Some people might not agree, but. All the three people watching this on Facebook do. Exactly. And our eight people on YouTube. No, there's eight people watching on YouTube. danger with that where Kyle kind of left it is Kyle kind of overran it it does but it's, it's a very touchy shot depending on now obviously like our angle looks a little bit different than the angle that's actually on the table right but I mean I won't I might very well just shoot to that in some corner and just pop it out because it's not it's one of those I think if you go for the corner and you miss it and it rattles, then the, the nine might block it a little bit. Just kind of like that. That was that was a very nice shot right in. Just nice and smooth. Oh. on the hill. That, that is very rough. Because now Brandon and CJ need to win what, seven racks straight. Yeah, yeah seven, seven racks straight. Six, four right now. Yeah. Two, or, two it, two. It, oh, yeah. It goes to show where sometimes it just takes one or two rolls to, could be difference between major scores, not even if it's just like hill hill matches, right? But yeah, well, like we were talking earlier, I know CJ's played on played the one match with us. Yeah. That was one of the chip game. And it, it, it wasn't you can't get a run going. You can't get really get the game. Cause in the, but now he's playing again on live stream in a match with a teammate. Yeah. Could be somewhere a little bit there. But very possibly. You, you never know. With that, Kevin and Kyle are on the hill. See if they can piece together a break and run, maybe. Well, where the one ball's where it's at, probably unlikely, but it'd be pretty, pretty cool to see that last rack be a break and run. Who we are seeing, Kyle looks like grab his short cue. See a little jump. Ben Halen, which you might be too old to know Ben Halen has a song called Joe. Mm. Oh, very close. And I almost got on the list. And once again, it, it kind of leaves it to where there's not really a whole lot. He, they might be able to squeeze behind, between that six and that seven, but it's thin. It's a, it's a tight squeeze if, if they can. right in that corner. Yeah, that goes to show those rolls. It's yeah. just the unfortunate roll of it around. It takes some rolls out and give it a little bit. 
him take away the two two rattle nines. It could be even They are, it's not an easy shot, but Kevin puts it down and ends that score at nine to two. Yeah. Lucky, uh, lucky, lucky rolls, but with the ball really and on the other end. with it, they'd, they'd be back to about even, right? Like, like you said, it'd be instead of it being nine two, it would be five five at the very least. With those, without those two nine balls, it'd be six four. Correct. All right, everybody. Thank you. We'll definitely be playing a match on Tuesday. Don't know what the match is going to be yet. We'll see if Noah, uh, Seth are down. That's it. David? I, I'm more than them. We just have to talk to Noah and David a little bit and see how that's going. But you guys can keep an eye out for that. Um, other than that, you know, keep eyes out for other events that we might be doing. You know, there's a couple stuff that might be in the works. Definitely. Yeah. Thank you guys. Have a good night.